so this is a short video uh, to describe the problem I gave you for the test so you have a truck shown here which is used to deliver food to aircraft so the elevated unit weighs 200 pound with center of gravity at G determine the required force in the hydraulic cylinder AB so the elevated unit the whole elevated unit uh, has a weight 200 pounds with center of gravity at G and you are being asked to uh, calculate the required force in the hydraulic cylinder here AB uh, so you can see that if you move the cylinder uh, the if you if the hydraulic cylinder get extended the whole uh, the whole upper part gets elevated and that helps you move the uh, food items here to the aircraft now here the question here is th uh, the question is uh, uh, you are being asked to calculate the force in the hydraulic cylinder so this is uh, uh, this is not going to be difficult because uh, not many horizontal forces are in involved here I think the first part here is uh, to calculate the uh, consider the equilibrium of the, the whole upper part the whole elevated unit which which has uh, which has its center of gravity at G here the whole weight acts here downwards and that weight is equal to 2000 pounds you can convert it to suitable units if you want uh, and this is not really necessary uh, and now the support reactions from C and D will be upwards a force by these members on the block will be upwards and that's it there are no other forces distance from here to here is uh, uh, 40 plus 17 57 and uh, distance from here to here is a that is also 57 inches again you want you can change the units if you like but it's uh, not absolutely necessary So, so this is exactly at the center, which means that uh, if you put the equilibrium equation here, net force in y direction is equal to zero, R C and R D. Here, R C plus R D should be equal to W, which is the total weight. And since this is uh, the weight is acting exactly at the midpoint there is no uh, confusion here this would be half of w and how do you know that because you can you can calculate moment about this point if you calculate moment about this point uh, you will uh, you will realize that w multiplied by 57 minus w multiplied by 57 plus rd multiplied by 57 plus 57 will be equal to 0 so that's the reason why rc will be equal to rd and half of w so once you get that uh, this is not going to be difficult this is quite uh, straightforward consider the member ch consider the member CH
on the CH you have if uh, the force by CH on the uh, upper part is RC the Newton's reaction pair will be downwards the force on CH by the upper part will be downwards which is equal to RC which you have already calculated and uh, here you have uh, a force uh, whose direction and magnitude we do not know which is uh, at the joint and there cannot be any moment this is a pin joint so there can't be any moment and there is going to be from the piston there is going to be a force which we can call FP and that's uh, that's what you need to calculate here and then you have uh, a support reaction at H so here you have a uh, force uh, in arbitrary direction which will have a vertical component and it will have a vertical component and a horizontal component but in horizontal direction there are no other forces so sigma uh, rmh uh, the force in vertical direction will be zero or you can you don't need to consider it now rc you have uh, already calculated and fp is an unknown rh unknown RMV or RM whatever you like to call it is also an unknown. So there are three forces but you will have only two equations and those uh, equations are net force in the y direction is equal to zero and the net moment about any point is equal to zero. So these are the two equations available. And now what can you do here? To solve, uh, uh, since you have an extra unknown here, next strategy is uh, actually to consider the equilibrium of the both of these, uh, not both, all three of these members together means uh, FD, CH and AB together, everything together. So here you have uh, force downwards, force downwards here. You have already figured out, figured out that this is equal to this and you have a force upward here and upward here. So this is quite symmetric. Uh, this is symmetric and this all, all these uh, distances are uh, symmetric and this is even if it is uh, even if uh, D is not H is not directly under D still this will be balanced by F and H so these two must be equal and you can also figure out it using moment equation if you take moment about this point you will find out that this is equal to this and if you take moment about this point you realize that this is equal to this uh, so from here you can find out this one and this one and this force is the force here right this RH this is the CH and this one is the FD so CH is drawn here this is CH and this is RH you can calculate RH from here which is the reaction force here put it here and then only two unknowns are remaining and uh, you can use equations uh, net force in y direction is equal to zero and net moment about any point equal to zero to find out the unknown FP means the force in the piston 
pores in the hydraulic cylinder AB. That is the question here. That's how you solve this problem here. So this is a simple, simple problem. Uh, <coughs> So the two equilibrium uh, equations are, I mean two systems you need to consider one, not two, three total first, this one, secondly this one, thirdly this one. And for this case, uh, you can either assume F and H are directly under C and D, or even if it is not, even if it has an offset, still uh, this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this, which you can actually uh, prove using momentum equations if you like. So he, here, uh, this is very easy, the only only part here is, uh, you, you know, when you are taking the moment equation about uh, about this member, it's uh, you can consider the sender. If you consider the sender, you have uh, a force here. This is the line of action of this force, and that force is uh, at this much distance from the middle point, and you have another force here. This force is uh, this much distance away from the sender and force here support here rmv is passing through that point so when you are taking moment equation that term will disappear so you don't need to consider that then you have fp fp is at a certain distance from the midpoint and that is 17 so you can see that all these uh, horizontal distances are given here and you will need those only to solve the problem so many dimensions are not given which are not actually necessary for you. Here you can see that uh, uh, mostly you will not find any horizontal forces, all forces are vertical and some simple moment equations, that's it, you can solve the problem. Uh, so from here uh, if you take moment equation about the middle you will uh, immediately get the answer you are looking for which is the Fp here which is the required force in the hydraulic cylinder. 